Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings. And today we are on the nine days of Christmas. And we will be making a collage strip. Mine is a Christmas one. Joni DV uh, had put a tutorial on uh, YouTube and I loved it. So I thought I would, would try to make one myself. The collage strip is put on a piece of uh, paper or designer paper or uh, lightweight cardstock. And if it if you wanted to have a heavier body, you can use heavier cardstock as the base. This project is great for using up uh, book pages. So that's what we're going to do today is make make one, and uh, we'll be using a lot of my book pages that I have. And uh, I'm trying to decide which one I want to use. I think I'm going to go with this red one for now. <clears throat> and I'm using my ruler to tear the pieces. Uh, because you want it to have that rough appearance. You don't want to have all cut pieces. And you will notice later that sometimes I even tear these into smaller pieces afterwards. So we shall pull a few off here. And make, and make some strips so we can use them. I will fast forward some of the um, gluing and all uh, because I know oh, once you see the process, uh, it's just a matter of, of finishing it. Uh, but we'll start with putting one or two pieces uh, on my designer paper. As I said, I'm using the red this time. And um, I'm using a glue stick by uh, Scotch. It's called Scotch Create, and it's one of the best glue sticks I've ever had. So we'll just put a few of these papers on. Uh, I try to have all my writing up right so you, in one direction so you can read it uh, if you really want to read it. But the, the little pieces are small, and there's not much uh ability to even read a sentence there you just have words and as i work you will notice that i'm going to be using different type of pa uh, book pages um different type of print and i have one book that i'll pull out in a few minutes that is really fragile um it is a, a very old paperback book that has uh, children's stories in it and um, the pages just disintegrate almost in your hand. This is that book and I really have to be careful when I tear it. But the reason I like it is because of the coloring. It gives an entirely different uh, feel to my project. And if you'll notice every once in a while, the paper will just stick to the, to the glue stick. Uh, but the reason I like to use it is because it of the color. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, book pages this color. Um, and uh, also I want to use up the book itself. I hate to see it just not uh, get any use at all. So I like this, even though some of my little uh, pages are smaller than what I had hoped they would be. But they uh, bring out a third dimension in my project here. Here's my old book. Uh, I'm going to pull a couple more pages out. I like this picture um, and it has uh, some dark uh, ink on it so that'll give um, my collage a little depth.
Here's another little book that uh, has some uh, pages that can be used. Uh, this print is just a little different from the other, so I'll probably pick out a couple of pages here and and um, tear, tear a couple apart. A lot of these pages have uh, pictures on them and I don't want to use those because I've put um, some pictures on using um, that real old book. So now I've gotten um, some um, dictionary pages on here and this is another um, book that I'll try to put on also. My um, collage sheet is beginning to fill in and um, at first it doesn't look like anything but once you get near the completion you really see what you've done and, and you you enjoy what you've done and sometimes I'll get a piece that I think is too long or I don't like the white uh, on it and I'll just rip it off and put something else on top of it. I have something here a little different that I can put on uh, this was in my scraps. What it is is a type of netting. Uh, it's kind of like the netting that you um, get oranges in, a grapefruit, and I just have a piece of it here. It's not a very big piece, and I thought, well, maybe I could put a little bit of this on to make kind of an interesting edge to the background. Uh, it's real thin, and so it's going to be hard to um, glue down unless I kind of fold it over and make a little mesh out of it and then if it's, if it's too much in a spot I can always go and cut it uh, back down to a thinner layer. So we're just going to put this on. Um, it should stick with the glue stick. I my, my glue stick is kind of on the soft side for some reason today so maybe that will help. And I will put this on uh, in a couple spots where I don't have anything else. Besides book pages and um, that netting, I'm going to add something else to my um, uh, collage here. If you have ever been to Old Charlie's and gotten bread, you would recognize that this. Uh, this is the... Um, cover that they put inside the bread baskets to lay the bread on and then cover it up to keep it warm. And I was there one day and I looked at it, looked at it, and I thought, you know, I could use something like that. So I asked the waitress if I could have a couple. And uh, she gave me a couple of nice, clean, neat ones that were folded up. And I've had them ever since. And uh, I've used them a little bit, but not much. And I think today's a great day to use them. As I work on this, you are probably wondering how on earth can this collage strip be used? Well, there's a number of ways you can make a um, uh, belly band in a junk journal. You could use it to, uh, on a page, just cut a piece off uh, and use it to decorate a pocket or up on the middle of a page by itself. You could use it in the middle of a, a square or a shape on a, a greeting card and make this your uh, focal point on uh, the greeting card just by cutting a piece off. Uh, so there's, there's a number of ways that you can use this. And the reason I do cards and uh, junk journal stuff is because they're interactive. You can use some of the same things that you make for one, you can use for the other. I'm taking a piece of cardstock now, and I'm just going to cut, uh, excuse me, tear a couple of pieces, different shapes. It doesn't matter. And I don't want them really large, so I'm going to be tearing them down to little small pieces, and I'm going to put them in spots that need a little color 
or maybe where I want to cover up the red that was in the base uh, paper or base cardstock, whichever you want to call it. Um, so that's this is only to give it a little color. Um, but by the time we get through, you'll see that eventually all of this will come together. Okay, now we're for our third or uh, final layer. Um, in some places, I'm sure I have more than two layers. But this is basically the last layer. And this is going to be the part that is going to give it a finished touch. Uh, the thing I'm putting on now is uh, a label. These are little teeny weensy labels. I got them from Foxy Creations. Uh, she does a beautiful job with her um, digital labels. And I've um, put glue on one and I made a mistake here. And, uh, I've got glue all the way across it rather than at one end. So I'm going to end up having to put it up somewhere in the middle of my um, strip because I don't want it sticking out with the glue on the back of it. So we'll just stick it right here. And uh, she has such an assortment. The only thing is it takes a while to cut them out, but um, uh, she has a large assortment of uh, little labels. And that's what I'm putting on now. Some of them have words and some have uh, numbers and various other things. So I'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on my uh, collage uh, sheet. And the last thing I'm going to do is put um, some little stickers on my collage sheet. Since this is a Christmas one, um, we will open this package and pull out some Christmas stickers. I have uh, little Santa Clauses, trees, um, all sorts of things. So these will come off fairly easily and go in special places where I need something. And that will finish up our collage sheet. Okay, here's my finished collage sheet. I think it turned out really cute with the reds on there and the greens. And um, you let the background show a little bit, um, but it's got the tags and the stickers and all sorts of um, papers. So uh, I think that one is finished. Now I have a paper here where I was going to do a third one but for time's sake, what I'm going to do is just show you the finished product. Okay, I've just finished this last one. Uh, it, is, um, it had the red and green and white paper underneath. So a little bit of it shows like I wanted it to. And um, these are so much fun to make. I'm going to make me another one now. Uh, and it's going to have a snowman theme and I'll put probably put blue paper underneath it and put snowflakes and etc on it. Uh, don't forget that these can be cut apart and put on a card. It can be put in a, a junk journal. Um, it has loads of uses and it uses up some of that stuff that is laying around that are real small and that uh, you hate to throw them away because the, the pictures are so pretty or the print is so pretty. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you will, please subscribe, hit that little button, and you'll know when, uh, the, excuse me, the little bell, and you will know when I put up a new video, and of course, the next one will be uh, 
a Christmas theme also. Uh, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but uh, I'm sure it's something that you could use for Christmas. In any case, please try um, and uh, your hand at this. I think you'll find it's there are loads of fun to make. And in the meantime, come back and see me and have a great crafting day.